Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you a book review. And the book that we're going to see today is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. So let's get into today's video. To start with, what is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo about? I'll just tell you what is the plot of the story. Now, uh, there is this famous industrialist named Henrik Wanger and uh, he has a niece who had died like uh, many decades ago in his family and he doubts that her uh, death was not natural and it was a murder and uh, she has not been found ever since she had been missing so she is considered to be dead for these many years. So he asks for the help of, an, uh, of a, a magazine's owner named Mikael Blomqvist who in turn is uh, shadowed by another person called Lisbeth Zylander who is the girl with the dragon tattoo. Now she is a hacker and uh, the character of Lisbeth Zylander is uh, shaped in such a way that such that she is not a good person but she is a very 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 intelligent person and she can uh, think of ways which others can't even uh, imagine in order to solve mysteries and problems. So uh, this is the main plot of the story that is uh, in order to find the uh, death of this niece uh, from decades ago uh, Mikhail uh, Bloomquist is hired and uh, he finds out that the girl with the dragon tattoo has been shadowing him. So, uh, so she also joins in this quest and uh, this uh, concords in order to produce this beautiful book which is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Now I'll tell you some things about the characters in the book. We have three main characters just as I said in the plot of the book who are Lisbeth Salander, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, uh, Mikhail Bloomquist and Henrik Manger who are the uh, main characters of focus throughout the story and the girl that has uh, suspected to have been to have uh, died like uh, two to three decades ago is Harriet Wanger who is the niece of uh, Henrik Wanger. Apart from these three to four people we have multiple characters and all these characters are uh, important and they are not just uh, kept in order to uh, keep the story moving. They are kept in order to build the plot in a very good way and uh, the mystery element of the book is built in such a way uh, it keeps you at the edge of your seat uh, throughout the time you are reading this book. Now, uh, apart from the four characters, one character who uh, took my mind blown was the antagonist character whom I'm not going to reveal because that's the main twist in the story. Uh, you've got to read it because uh, you cannot suspect a person to be that bad. And uh, in this book, all the four characters which I've mentioned until now are not completely good characters or completely bad characters. All of them are very layered and uh, all of them are totally grey so that uh, you will not find it so easy to take a character's side while reading the book. The last thing that I'm going to speak about the story is the pacing. Now if you ask me this is not the well paced book uh, when it comes to a mystery novel and especially a murder mystery novel. Now uh, the first half of the book is slowly paced that is you have to go through a lot of in information and you have to remember it and it builds up the plot in a very good way if you ask me but the pacing is slow slow slow. If you are a person who's uh, uh, very much uh, bumped by slow books then this is not a good place to start reading because the first half of the book is totally slow paced and the next half pays off very well and it is like a forest fire. If you just start reading you will have to read it like this in order to complete the book. It's that good. Uh, so the first half of the book is decently paced while the second half is extraordinarily paced so that uh, you not feel bored even at a single chapter or single page of the book. Coming to my overall thoughts of the book, even though the book is not that much uh, fast paced, I enjoyed the book throughout because uh, it uh, had a lot of information in order to grasp and remember in order to uh, enjoy the story very well. And uh, I read this book in like 5 days while I commuted to and from work and it was uh, such a good time killer. I felt like that time went like this for the second half of the book while I was traveling. If you are looking for a book which will make you think a lot then you must try The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and if you are a fan of a uh, thriller genre you must give this uh, book a try because it is very much worth the time reading. I gave this a total of 5 stars if you are not able to guess until uh, now <clears throat> because I have been ranting throughout the review. That's it for today and if you did uh, enjoy watching the video do uh, give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. Also subscribe to the channel in order to get more content from me. Thanks for watching.